Okay, guys, I'm going to get you to join me today. We have a Maxi 906TS. We're going to take the, um, we're going to take, get rid of the check engine light and uh, just get it cleared. I'm going to show you what happens on the 906TS, which is pretty neat. And this is a learning curve. I keep learning more and more new stuff about this, but I really appreciate it. So the first thing we did was get the wireless connector on. It's on. And of course it runs Bluetooth, so as you can see we're completely wireless here. And we have to put the key in the on position. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to, we're gonna check for the VIN number. We're gonna auto detect it. Hopefully it pops up. Okay, it's asking for a standalone, so I'm just gonna put Eclipse. That's fine with me. Let's put the EC, okay. I know what it's there for. I'm gonna erase it anyway. This is it. We're gonna hit OK. Make my selection. And you see quickly it's telling you what it is. That's exactly what it is. And uh, it's kind of it's what's involved when you go to uh, just get rid of the check engine lights. There we go, fault two. That's gonna be in the main ECM. Oh, three in the airbag. So what's up everybody? Uh, looks like we got more than one. So as it scans each individual modules, one thing I really like about the 906 TS is that it individually specifies which module we're dealing with. Okay, I want to show you how easy it is. You just push, oops. Got it. Oh. Gotta be careful because my screen monitor is on there too, so. All right, so we want to read codes. First thing we need to do, we've already done that. We're going to escape. Because if you don't, what it tells you to is go read the codes. So now we want to erase the codes. Okay, so there we go. That's the first modules down. I really, really, really like this machine. Sure, I'm staying on the same one. Okay, here we go. Now, this machine saves me money every week. Every week I've owned it, this machine has saved me money. So we're going to read the code. Okay, which we already know these. I've already done these, so I'm just kind of going through the process here. And erase codes. Done. All right, moving into the next module, the immobilizer. Well, that's a good one not to have any problems with. And here this goes. Gonna read the codes. A lot of this has to do with the dead battery, really low function. Um, but we'll know if anything comes back up. See all the cool stuff you can do though in those modules. Watch the next one we pop it up. Okay. See we do coding, special function, live data. It's pretty neat stuff. Uh, meanwhile, all right, air conditioner. I'm gonna read the codes again. Look at how many codes this sucker had. Wow, a lot going on here. And erase codes. Okay. 
I'm kind of giving you real life timing on this too. Of course, each one of these, uh, wait, I don't know why I got that. Hold on a second here. I thought we just handled this. Maybe there's something else going on. Let me see. Read codes. Display can timeout not equipped. Okay. That and that may be completely fine. I have I have no idea. I'm not that familiar with it. Okay, and moving right along. like the codes back on the air conditioner whatever that is I don't think it's necessarily a, uh, a malfunction I think it's just giving us a, a heads up more than anything hmm. very similar can can timeout not equipped sunroof not equipped and that's both of those are fine we're gonna escape out of those I think those will always be there of course, this car does not have a sunroof and doesn't have a timeout. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Looks like the same stuff. All right, so. Oh, nice, no check engine light. So there we go, guys. Of course, we'll have to, uh, decide May, we'll have to make sure nothing comes back obviously and while we're doing this I'm gonna go ahead and go into live data now this is just on the computer just to give you an idea of what we can pick up on this You see all the little sensors, uh, pulses, uh, there's your trim. I like this. Uh, it just gets into a lot of stuff. I think that's pretty neat. The fuel tank pressure. Even the brake lamp switch, if you press the brake, see it go on and off, me pushing the brake. AC switch, same thing. It'll go on and off. This kind of helps you really, really, really uh, decide whether or not you have a um, like is your switch bad you'll know right off the bat is your switch bad it just goes into a lot of things like neutral safety switch is it on is it off AC compressor relay this really just saves a lot of time and as a car buyer this is very very important to you because each one of these things potentially can be hundreds of dollars especially if some joker just taking you for a ride on whatever uh, he wants to as far as charging you money but it really changes the game when uh, you can actually read it yourself I like this see power supply voltage 14.4 that's nice see it changing right there it'll let you probably go into like a gauge there it is and it'll, it'll do a couple things probably. Let's see what we do here. Oh, that's just uh, wording there, right? So, any, any of this stuff is like that. Let's see, target idols. Let's just do this one. So there you go, you're watching that, no problem. Also, you could, uh, you could jump on the intake temperature sensor, right? And you can keep multiple things up at one time. So it depends on what you're working on or what you're needing to fix, but really big deal. And you know, it's value, unit, whatever, vehicle speed, name. Just kind of looking at everything here. Pretty neat stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, hit the like button. I'm gonna have a lot of these coming down. Like I said, this machine is constantly saving me money. So of course I'm gonna be really promoting it. And on top of promoting it, uh, I'm gonna give you somebody professional to actually talk to to talk about buying it I'm gonna put his website on there. He's dynamite. His name's Curtis. Uh, he's a friend of mine Met him. He's another youtuber. I met him through YouTube uh, Just calling him up checking him out and really in the beginning. I didn't really understand 
um, what his service was actually because he he sells them, but he's actually a professional on you know diagnosing and you know being able to get stuff to work that we just don't seem to be able to. Like he's all hooked up with the factory and all that cool stuff, and he can really just get into the programming. You ought to watch some of the videos and blow your mind. But you could definitely go that route. I'll put his on there because if I was going to look at one of these again, I would want a guy like me telling me, hey, go talk to Curtis. Don't just buy one. Talk to Curtis. Get the right machine. Know exactly what you're going to use it for, how you're going to use it. Um, you know, make sure you don't buy too much machine. Don't make sure you don't buy not enough machine. You know, and then once you get it, you got to know what to do with it when you get it. So, I mean, you definitely need someone that's a professional. But anyway, it's Alltel Consultancy. You should check them out. And I'm going to put his uh, website on the bottom of here. Or you can get them on, uh, you can buy the machine. You may be just an old pro, don't need any help, whatever. But if it was me, I'm recommending you buy it from somebody. I would get the whole service. I'd get a guy that can you can call and ask how to do this and how to do that. Because guess what? There's no one out there that can tell you. Meanwhile, peace and love from the car man. See ya.